What it do? So it's your boy Chance Jollibee, aka Smooth, back with another video. So tonight, what we're gonna be talking about is Jeezy and DJ Drama brand new mixtape, Snowfall. So you know, Snowfall is a big thing right now, man. They got the uh, FX, is the FX show, man. They got it, uh, John Singleton and stuff like that, man. We, uh, about Freeway Ricky Ross life, pretty per se, but. Jeezy has taken the title, man, and he has gone back to his roots of being the, the snowman and how he used to do in the game, man. Like, how he was, he was that nigga. When you talk about the drugs and shit like that, like, he was that dude. Like, do, do people really want to, to hear that nowadays and stuff? Do people want to hear that old Jeezy? Because he's not really that dude anymore, but it's kind of like he's reminding us, like, nigga, I've been doing that shit. I was that nigga. If you was a fan of Jeezy and you want that old Jeezy aesthetic, this one right here, this, this might be the one for you. Like, as far as, like, other people, younger people or something, and them gravitating to this, I don't, I don't know how people will accept it. Because we're in a time now... Where like you gotta be living your lyrics, and G's ain't living this right now. But I guess he's talking about what he did do. So I I don't know I don't know. Rap is so so funny nowadays, man. But it's good always good to hear the OGs and stuff, man. And and I'm just thinking about it, man, because it's like now being older and stuff, you gotta be more cognizant. Of your lyrics and your messages and you saying and stuff, man. You just know how things are. So you being an older man, you talking about. Anyway, I, that's that's a, another topic. But anyway, so this is 17 songs, 49 minutes runtime. Man, let's talk about the songs of the project. Track one, Snowfall, epic, triumphant sounding beat. Same way he come from and his future goals. Replaying the shit over and over. Got annoying though, like. It, it, you know how DJ Drama and them like I had forgot that they did that shit like a verse he say the verse and then he r -r 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 run it back say the verse r -r 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 run it back that shit was annoying man that shit was annoying I ain't liked it back then I don't like it not but I did that's what ruined the song for me track two bro tough if you like the old snowman this one got them vibes man that's what I said about this one but I can say that about a lot of songs on the project and stuff, man. Like track three, most hated, featuring Lil Durk, anthem joint, aggressive. Durk spaz out on this one, man. So it's talking about most hated, man. Nigga, fuck with a man, like uh, going against the enemies and shit. Like nigga hate, nigga hate, hating on me. I'm the most hated, but look, we gonna we gonna do whatever. Number four, street cred, addressing people acting like like a street cred grown. His street cred is gone because he leveled up in life, man. Like, I'm that nigga, man. Like, I done did this for me to be where I'm at. Like, my, my street cred is what got me to right here. So you talking about I ain't got no street cred, you crazy. Uh, number five, Colors. Uh, love a beat with them horns, man. They got them horns. That shit, that shit is so dope. Powerful, triumphant, rocky sounding shit. Uh, Stunting is a material, very materialistic song right there. Uh, number six, MJ Jeezy, talking about moonwalking on the pot, S curl shit, talking greasy, king of the pots, like he got like a, a lot of Michael Jackson uh, references and stuff as far as like how he the the king of this shit and just that that man and and stuff like that. But it, it's dope the way he, way he do it. Number seven, plug on him, he's still that nigga, just the shit he into not legal. He flipping blocks instead instead of rocks now and shit. But I remember. I was this nigga really doing this shit. Like he kind of talk about it early, like on the first verse, like uh, I'm kind of in my legal game, and then like the next verse, like he just talking all illegal shit. <laughs> <coughs> Number eight, I ain't gonna hold you. He flipped this 1980s sample, like it's kind of hard, but I'm not all the way crazy about it. It's like it, it sounds, it's interesting, but it's like eh, I'm like I don't know about this. It might have to grow on me. Number nine, put the mix down, featuring 42 Dub. Beat tough, not crazy about 42 Dub part, man. Like, uh, yeah, I don't think I'm a 42 Dub fan. Number 10, King's Crown. Justice League, 
the, the Justice League, man. One of my favorite produ producing tandems or whatever. If I had an album drop, man, get, get any producer, Justice League would be in the top three of the choices. So if I got a Justice League produce joint, I'd be happy. But anyways, talk about how they let him take the king down, man. Not somebody walking around with King Crown. He talking about a lot of his homeboys and stuff that have died, got killed in the in the streets by some bitch ass niggas and stuff. And, and then he, he uh mentions Nipsey Hussle and stuff too. I don't think it's it's a whole like Nipsey Hussle tribute, but he mentions Nipsey along with like his his homeboys and stuff, man. Like people that have been gunned down in the game by some fuck niggas and shit. Number eleven, still having. Got a Miami Vice sounding vibe. I was raised on this hustler shit. With cold in the plug and still making M's. I'm not posting everything I'm doing, but I'm still balling. I'm still balling. Don't get it twisted. Number 12, Scarface featuring ESTG, Simplistic Flow. Fed the whole city. You watch a Scarface with the sound off. You know ESTG aggressively talking about how you gonna murk somebody or something. That's ESTG vibe. Number 13, How Deep. Key sweat sample. How deep is your love? How deep is your So I'm like, oh, he gonna have a female song? No. <laughs> no, not at all. Not at all. So it, it took me by surprise. I was like, oh, like, oh he got a little female joint? No. <laughs> uh, number 14, Grammy. Anthemic Conan sounding joint. And I say Conan sounding, I think that's actually the Conan sample from the old movie and stuff. He deserved a Grammy, all the grams he done sold and stuff like that. Uh, number 15, My County. Sounds similar to something. I, I think Pusha, Pusha T did have uh, the sample on here. Or he, he sampled the Pusha T, but it's it got that uh, dun, 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 dun. I forgot what song that is on the on the Pusha T, but I think that's the one that he uh he sampled. But talk about making that big money, even my accountant lit. Like my uh my shooters, my shooters rich and shit, niggas, niggas just got more change than the rappers and stuff, got more money, so much money my accountant is lit and stuff like that. Number sixteen, big snow, cocky joint, man, like he popping this shit, like I'm big snow, nigga, I'm not that nigga and stuff. Love that sample on the joint. Number seventeen, one hundred. Speaking real shit, being one hundred but why why he started hustling and stuff. They just keep it 100 with, with everybody talking about what you got to do if you want to be, you want to be the man, man. You want to be, get in this game. The road ain't going to be easy, man. You got to get up, you got to grind and stuff like that. Uh, this is, was, a, was a cool joint, man. Uh, refreshing to see, see the snowman, like, turn back the hands of time and, and feed his, his fans and stuff like that. But the thing about it is, like, he... He's saying these messages and going back and he's like, yeah, and it's like, the people that was jamming that shit, like, either they in jail, they dead, or they electricians and shit like that now, so, it's like, who you talking to, is like, the fans have grown, or are the fans, other music, do we still, can we still enjoy this entertainment? Or have like those people that were listening to have they grown to a point now that like I don't want to really listen to that right now. But I don't. I don't know. We will see. We will see what people what people listen to it as well. I I enjoyed it. I take the shit as entertainment, man. Like in I think I think Jeezy was official. I think he was official, man. And is it celebrating this stuff right here? I think it's like documenting this stuff, like just like I've been through this, so fuck it. But uh, and then some people could say that Jeezy wasn't a real nigga. I, I don't know. I ain't from Atlanta. But anyways, man, my favorite joints on here is uh, bruh, most hated colors, NJ Jeezy, plug on them, King's Crown, still having, how deep, Big Snow, and 100. How we give this? The beats and stuff was cool, man. The content was kind of... It wasn't the most in-depth project or anything like that, man. Like, um... Uh, I'd give it like a 7.7 7 out of 10. 7.7 7 out of 10, man. I enjoyed it. 
I can see myself like like listening to this while like working out, going hoop, having my uh my headphones in, jamming this. Definitely gonna put this in the whip. I can see myself bumping this in the whip, man. So uh I, I enjoy it, man. But really being my top albums of the year or something, I I Honestly, I, I doubt I doubt it'll make the top. It's gonna make the top ten, but I'm gonna try to, to listen to this this little bit more, man. But I enjoyed it, man. Like Jeezy, Salucha, Salucha OG, did his thing, man. Like, comment, subscribe. Would be the greatest and the most hated man. I let you boy.